It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, did you see the New England Patriots Philadelphia Eagles preseason game last night? I hope you did. And even if you don't live in the New England or Philadelphia metropolitan areas, I don't know if New England really counts as a metropolitan area, but the point is they re ran the game on NFL Network last night. So, I got to watch it. And for those of you who don't know, the New England Patriots have a guy on their team with the same last name as me, Julian Edelman. Now, the last Edelman in football that I remember was the old center for the New Orleans Saints, Brad Edelman. This guy is a wide receiver. He's a white guy. I know. Could Edelman be a black guy? It could be. He could marry into the family. He could change his name, you know, if he wanted to. There's all kinds of ways he could have that last name. But the point is, Julian Edelman is a possession receiver by definition. Ha, I don't even know. Maybe he has great speed. I know he has great speed. You know why? Because he returned a punt for a touchdown against the Philadelphia Eagles last night. In their 27-25 victory in which Philadelphia's third stringers were better than New England's third stringers. But, starters looked good for those of you who are fans of that sort of thing. But Julian Edelman was the number four receiver and he had a bunch of little catches here and there. He looked like Wes Welker out there. Tom Brady threw to him. And, you know, they sang Shaboopy at halftime. Oh, no, wait, that was Peter Griffin on Family Guy. But the point is, Julian, Gri Julian Griffin, Julian Edelman, kick a punt return for a touchdown, several catches. Oh, and on the opening kickoff of the game, guess who made the tackle? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get me a New England Patriots jersey, a Julian Edelman jersey, as soon as I find out what number he's going to wear. Because he's wearing 11 now, but a lot of times when you make the team, you wear a real number, a number in the 80s. If your number's less than 20 and you're not a quarterback, you're a punter or a kicker, you're not a wide receiver. So hopefully when he makes the team, they'll give him another number. I would like it if he wore 86, because that's Marv Cook's old number, I think. Or was it Hartley Dykes? Whatever numbers that Hartley Dykes and Marv Cook wore, if he gets one of those two numbers, I'll be very happy. Well, that's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.